Hello and welcome. This is Todd, aka Mechtoad33, and we're looking at homes from around the country. In a previous video, we showed you this. This is a hundred million dollar home for sale, previously owned by Pierce Brosnan. It's in Malibu, and while nice, people did mention in the comments that for that much money, one hundred million dollars, you could buy a two million dollar home in every state of the country. So what I decided to do is I decided to look from around the country to homes all over for $2 million homes. And if you just do on one state and you started it from a range of $1.5 to $2 million, like in the state of California, this is what you see all these homes right here. So we decided to limit it a little bit, um, depending on the state. On a state like California, where there are a lot of homes uh, for, for this price, uh, we, we took out manufactured condos, multifamily apartments, lots and lands, and townhomes. And even with that, there are still some limiting factors. So every now and then we would change the range from say $1.7 million to two. And from there we would go and look through all these available homes. Um, so that, that's going to be kind of our thinking on things, kind of what I left out um, what I left out was um, that uh, we didn't have homes um, specifically for horses because we thought that's a very specific uh, niche group that people are looking for. Some of them are very nice, but um, I don't really know how to take care of horses. Also, I left out uh, business opportunities, um, so these big expansive B&B things, and I left out vineyards. So uh, we went down the road to do uh, videos on all those because there's some f fabulous uh, horse homes uh, or homes that have wonderful stables for horses. So anyway, um, we'll, we'll get into California in our next video, but here I want to show you the one that got away. So this one is in Arlington, or I'm, I should say we're Riverside, California on Arlington Avenue. And this is going to be sold. So I'm going to put the link in here, but um, it's already sold. So you don't get quite all the information, but here we go. So coming up to it, it's not that great. And it was $1.7 million. So as I go along with all these different houses, we're going to keep a running total. And we're going to talk about the money that we save uh, from going to that. Um, so four bedroom, five baths, 8,000 square feet is what it was. Uh, not too impressive when you pull up to it. Um, a nice view out the front of the house. You have both uh, an anchor in the entryway and then cannons, which is always nice. Um, so what what is more welcoming to, than two cannons as you enter the property? Um, then you have your, you know, your uh, outside front patio with your sta statues of women. Okay, and it just gets better and better and better and better we're gonna get there in just a little bit so there's really nice palm trees and the pool is very interesting it's not just your standard square pool it's got a very fun vibe to it you got a little uh, tiki hut and a little waterfall <laughs> with the divers the old school divers helmet the the mining cart um, it's just a very different house that's the thing for two million dollars there's a lot of houses that just all look alike and so sometimes i like to highlight different houses and so here we go um uh the the wood is from an age i don't even know <laughs> fair winds and fish <laughs> it's just so <sighs> so <sighs> I don't, it's just this house was just magnificent for so many different reasons you have the wonderful party table I'm not even quite sure what this is I guess a bar area and this a tub kind of just sitting here the, the bed post is just magnificent and different um, not all the houses I look at are going to be like this but this was just a, a rare find just all kinds of wonderful stained glass okay you got your little wooden sarcophagus and who doesn't need a pipe organ i mean come on does your house have a pipe organ and th this wood inlay table is everything about this is just spectacular 
they have a little desk right next to the pool table and another kind of Egyptian motif going on. It's like they could not pick a lane. They just went with all of them. Um, so I'm going to step through a little fast. Yeah, their viewing room for their TV is just, again, very nice. It's like this this whole place could be uh, its own little museum. Your outdoor chessboard um, and an observatory. Because don't you need an observatory? <laughs> there was just so much interesting stuff about this house. But it sold relatively quickly. Your outdoor um, train, which of course, you got to have that. With If you look here... They even had a little mini movie theater for cars and everything. So this one, I was just really, this could have made the cut for the California homes to be picked just for, it, it was so unusual. And, and a wine cave. Not just a wine cellar, but a honest to goodness wine cave. This was just a magnificent house. I'm going to put the link in. Hopefully Zillow leaves it up. And um, there you go. So, um... We appreciate it and stay tuned. We're going to start uh, our first video will be of California and we'll do one video on each state and thereafter. Thank you.